Hi, this is Jillian from Gene Codes Corporation. Today, we're going to look at how to edit aligned sequences in Sequencer. This is the sixth video in the Tour Guide of Sequencer series. A previous tour guide video looked at how to view aligned sequences in Sequencer. Now we will look at how to edit aligned sequences. Here we see the basis view of a contig. As a reminder, you have the fragment names here on the left and the sequences on the right, including the reference sequence here in blue. At the bottom, we have the consensus sequence. A dot below the consensus sequence indicates a base call disagreement, while a plus sign indicates an ambiguity. The first thing I'm going to do is highlight the first base in the consensus sequence. I will go to Select, Next Ambiguous Base, and this automatically takes me to a disagreement at base 18. Here, the reference sequence has a G, while the four fragments have A's. If I click on Show Chromatograms, we can see that each of the fragments are clearly an A, so we don't have to do any editing at this location. If I click on the spacebar twice, this will take me to an ambiguity. If we look at the bases here, we can see that the closeness of the A peak is interfering with the base call of the other peaks, which are clearly Cs. So I will go ahead and change each of them to C manually. To do that, I simply click on the base and type C. I want to make sure to click on the consensus sequence again, and you can continue going through the base disagreements and ambiguities. If I move over to this base disagreement here, we can see that three of the fragments clearly have both a C and a T peak. If I adjust the view of this fourth fragment, by increasing the size of the peak, we can see that it also has both a C and T peak. So what we'll do is click on the consensus sequence and type Y, the ambiguity code for C or T. And this changes the base call in each of the fragments to Y. If I click to the side a little bit, you'll note that the Ys are in magenta, which indicates that they have been edited in Sequencer. This has been an introduction to editing aligned sequences in Sequencer, the sixth installment in our tour guide of Sequencer series. Here we have seen how to manually call heterozygotes. In our next video, we are going to look at automatically calling heterozygous bases using the call secondary peaks function.